July the 3rd, 1969. Rolling Stones founding member Brian Jones drowns in the swimming pool of his East Sussex estate. September the 18th, 1970. Legendary guitarist Jimi Hendrix asphyxiates on his own vomit, having taken a dangerous number of sleeping tablets. October the 4th, 1970. Janis Joplin overdoses on heroin in her Hollywood hotel room. July the 3rd, 1971. Jim Morrison, lead singer of The Doors, suddenly dies of supposed heart failure, potentially the result of a heroin overdose. April the 5th, 1994. Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain commits suicide following years of heroin addiction, illness, and depression. July 23rd, 2011. Amy Winehouse passes away, her blood alcohol content more than five times the legal drink drive limit. These six musical legends are united by a strange set of circumstances that have earned them the core membership of an apparently cursed group of stars, the so-called 27 Club. The curse of the 27 Club haunts the music industry, claiming the lives of successful artists at the young age of 27. Aside from the big six already mentioned, Famous names associated with the club include ragtime musician Louis Chauvin, soul singer Linda Jones, and Manic Street Preachers guitarist Richie Edwards. Forever 27, a website dedicated to the myth, lists 51 club members, dating from 1892 to the present day. The idea first emerged in the 1970s after the deaths of four 27-year-old superstars in the space of four years. However, it was the suicide of Kurt Cobain in 1994 that popularized it, after his mother mentioned the club in an interview. More recently, the death of Amy Winehouse reinvigorated the idea of the club in the public consciousness. But were they really cursed? If we compare the lives and deaths of the core six members of the 27 Club, there are many recurring themes. All were incredibly successful and well-known artists. All had troubled relationships with drugs and alcohol, and every single death was considered suspicious. The general public and the media threw accusations of murder at the star's managers, their spouses, dealers, and even contract builders. Even more suspicious is that many members apparently predicted their early deaths. Three years before she died, Winehouse expressed specific fears that she was going to join the club. She told her PA, I have a feeling I'm going to die young. Charles Cross's biography of Kurt Cobain says that, aged just 14, the Nirvana singer told a schoolmate that he would become a successful musician and then go out in a blaze of glory, like Jimi Hendrix. There is even a theory that Cobain deliberately timed his suicide to help this prediction become a reality. Finally, there is the mystery of the white lighter. Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, and Jimi Hendrix all had a white lighter in their possession when their bodies were found. Perhaps the ownership of a white lighter generates bad luck, or perhaps it's just coincidence. Despite the curse's notoriety, studies have shown that there isn't actually a statistical spike of musicians dying aged 27. Researcher Adrian Barnett took a sample of 1,046 musicians who achieved UK number one albums between 1956 and 2007. He discovered that only 1.3% of those who died were 27. The most common age for musician fatalities was 56 years old, counting for 2.3% of deaths. Overall, there is no statistical evidence that 27 is any more dangerous an age for musicians than, say, 26 or 28. Nevertheless, Barnett did notice a trend of pop musicians facing a risk of death during their 20s that is two to three times greater than that of the general population. This is probably due to the often wild lifestyle and the pressures of exposure that go hand in hand with musical success. Nevertheless, the 27 Club still receives a lot of media attention. It has inspired a number of songs, books, and films, such as Fall Out Boy's 27 and 2008 film 27 Club. Whether it is due to coincidence or something more sinister, the legacies of these musicians, from Brian Jones to Amy Winehouse, will forever be linked through their association with the 27 Club. This place is cursed. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is my list of the top five cursed movies. Never mind spooky horror stories, these are the real curses that are rumored to have haunted movie sets and stars. 